Well, you guys got another video here for you. Why is Ryzen Power Plan missing in Windows 11? So when you go into Windows 11 and type power, you'll see the power options right here. If we click on this one, you open up the power plan and you used to see a bunch of Windows power plans like you see here. And then you used to also see the Ryzen Power Plans option inside the actual power plan panel. So what's happening? Why are these missing? Well, sometimes you haven't got the chipset drivers installed on your system. And you can download these from the motherboard manufacturer's website, or you can download them from actual uh, AMD's website itself. I'll quickly show you how you can look for these. Now, if you check out AMD's website, the AMD drivers and support page, you'll see processors and also chipsets right here. And you can select which processor or chipset that you have. And it will also allow you to download all of the uh, drivers from their website. You can see auto detect install driver updates for AMD Radeon series graphics and Ryzen chipsets. You can download it right here. You can search on the drop down here as well, or you can use the auto detect application to find what sort of hardware you have on your system. If you can't find it and you're having a few issues trying to find it in the list here. It is pretty straightforward and easy to do, but once you click on something here, it's going to give you an option to download uh, that driver once you click on the submit button here. If you're having issues, uh, use the auto detect install, which it's asking you to do right here. You can choose which operating system you have, Windows 11 64 bit, download that and install it. Other than that, you can head over to the motherboard manufacturer's website here and go to the support page here and download the chipset drivers for that motherboard from the manufacturer's website. So you go to driver tools here and then choose the operating system. This one is Windows 11 64 bit. And then you can come down and look for the actual chipset drivers. And this is going to install the chipset drivers for that motherboard. And you should have the power plan options in there for that particular board once you download it and install it. But if you're like me and you've installed it and you still don't see the power plan option, then there's a reason why. Let me explain this to you so it saves you tons of time looking for it. Let's go to control panel here on my system. This has a, a Ryzen 7000 series CPU inside here. And you can see I already have the AMD chipset drivers installed. I also have the motherboard chipset drivers installed and I've got AMD Ryzen Master installed on this system and yet the power plans don't show inside the power plan options. So if we look inside the C drive here and go into the C root directory and then look for program files 86, you can see here, click on this one here and go to AMD. You'll see that all the drivers are working and installed on this system. And I've seen a bunch of videos saying, click on this file here and it will make the power plans visible on your system and go through the buttons here like next and reinstall them. All this is going to do is ask to modify or remove. So let's do modify here and you still won't see it showing up inside the power plan option. So why is that? So according to AMD, the Ryzen 5000 series and the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs do not require a special Ryzen power plan. So it's not installed with the chipset driver package. So please use the Windows Balance Power Profile for those processors. As you can see here, the chipset drivers do not have the power plan management on here. And that means it's not going to be installed on the computer. So you will never see the power plan options. If you look on their website here, it also tells you right here that it's not available for the 5000 series and the 7000 series CPUs because it doesn't require them. So you can just use the Windows power plan options available to you. So I hope this video stops you spending hours upon hours searching the internet for fixes. And there is plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to fix this, but there is no fix for it because there is no power plan options for the Ryzen 5000 series or Ryzen 7000 series CPUs. You will not see it on there and there is no fix. So you're just wasting your time and your energy. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So if you have it missing and you don't have one of those series CPUs, then you can use the methods I've shown you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and have a lovely day. Bye for now.